In life, we all encounter obstacles, and those obstacles come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms. The question is, how do we handle those obstacles? Do we attack them head on, or do we allow them to make us quit? Welcome to the No Quit Living Podcast, where we aim to motivate and inspire listeners to never give up on themselves, their dreams, or their goals. We will interview successful people from all walks of life as they share their no quit stories when they had the choice to give up or give in, but they didn't. We thank you for listening, and we hope to be that jolt of positivity as you go for your greatness. Welcome to episode number 184 of the No Quit Living Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher J. Worth, and today's theme of the day is gratitude. Our quote of the day comes to us from William Arthur Ward. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Today's episode is sponsored by the good people over at West Fair Communications, who publish the Westchester County Business Journal and the Fairfield County Business Journal. These newspapers do a wonderful job in covering all aspects of the business world within two of the most influential markets in the New York metropolitan area. You can also take advantage of their daily news feeds, which keep track on the companies and thought leaders in these important regions. For more information, take a look at www.westfaironline.com. Trust me, once you start reading, you won't quit. It is an honor to bring you today's episode. As we're always looking for ways to switch things up, I have a challenge that I would like to present to our listeners, as well as any of our former guests that might be listening. A simple fact is that life is not easy, and we all encounter many different forms of challenges, obstacles, problems, and even those difficult people. We all face those things at different points in both our lives as well as our careers. That is a given. What is not a given is how we handle those challenges, problems, obstacles, or difficult people? Do we focus on the negatives or do we look for the positives? Are we willing to look for that silver lining? With that in mind, I pose to you our 48-hour gratitude challenge. The challenge is very simple. Over the next 48 hours, whenever you encounter a difficult challenge, obstacle, or person, before you respond or react, you have to either say in your head or put down on paper something or someone that you are grateful for. It could be something small, big, monetary, or even spiritual. Expressing gratitude doesn't mean that everything will be perfect or that you will become best friends with that challenging coworker, but it will make the situation better. Depending on the type of person you are, we all encounter various obstacles, challenges, and difficult people each and every single day. Yet how we all handle those situations is different. Perhaps the next time you're cut off in traffic and you want to scream, instead, take a moment to pause and express gratitude that you do have a car, as many people don't and they rely upon public transportation and other people's schedules. Maybe you've been struggling at home with your spouse and he or she might have once again upset you with something they did or said. Instead of immediately reacting, perhaps you can show gratitude towards the home that you do live in. The next time that challenging coworker negatively walks past you, instead of muttering something underneath your breath, take a moment to be grateful that you do have a job and think of all the people that have been out of work for such a long time now. One of the questions I ask on almost every single podcast is if our guest has either a morning or a daily routine that they swear by. There have been many similar answers, but the one thing that has truly stood out to me is when people indicate a focus on expressing, verbalizing, or writing down what they are grateful for. A few guests have mentioned that they not only utilize this gratitude process the first thing in the morning, but they do it the last thing at night before they go to bed. As I was preparing for this episode and doing some research on quotes, I found a quote by Oprah Winfrey that really hit me in regards to gratitude. Be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. What a powerful quote, yet such a simple concept. How many people can honestly say that they truly show gratitude on a consistent basis for who and what they have in their lives? When was the last time you really were appreciative of the job that you do have? And perhaps those extra things, such as health insurance, a 401k plan, vacation time, and maybe even sick days. What about that spouse or your significant other that truly has your back? Your best friend that you know you can always count on. Both showing and expressing gratitude doesn't make everything perfect, but it can make anything better. When you go about these next 48 hours, remember our challenge. Pause, reflect, and express your gratitude before you respond or react. Take a moment to be appreciative for what and who you do have in your life, 
and make sure you pay it forward as you go for your greatness. To conclude today's episode, I would like to share a quote by Steve Maraboli. If you want to find happiness, find gratitude. And lastly, to our listeners, thank you. We truly appreciate your time, and we hope our episodes inspire you to keep on attacking life and never giving up. To quote Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, it's always too early to quit.